Well, hello guys, and here today on the Rusty Glove Box, what we're gonna do is we are going to improve the overall performance of these eco-worthy style uh, solar tracker controllers. And, you know, I've, I've got four of these trackers and I've just had issues from now and again. Either, either their controller goes bad or our actuator goes bad. And uh, this, is what I did to possibly correct all that. What I started thinking about is uh, this little controller, it's getting overloaded is what I think. Uh, and so what I thought was, man, you know, you need a switch that forward and reverse the polarity to control your actuators. And I could just use this uh, eco-worthy control as just the control module for a relay pack. And this was just something that I got off uh, the internet and, you know, I thought, man, that, that's just too big and bulky for what I really need. And what I decided was to get a pack of these five pin relays. They uh, handle up to 40 amps and they come with their own bracket and you configure the wire wiring correctly and it does the same thing as this switch. So, you know, you can compare the size. It's a lot more compact. And uh, I would have to have this and two more. You know, I have like uh, north, south, east, west. And I would use the control module to signal these taking all the load off of the control module and just putting it on these relays. So I, I've, I've built uh, three, uh, four of them so far and uh, installed three and real happy with their performance so far. So I thought I'd kind of show you what all I did. Well, this is what I got. I got an outdoor enclosure. It's, uh, I think this is ABS, it's outdoor rated. It's got little stainless steel latches on it, easy to open and close. And uh, what I'm gonna do on the inside is my relay configuration. I have the four relays, you know, this is gonna be uh, north, south, east, west. Got a little bus bar in there for all my electrical connections and you might can see some diodes right there. Those diodes are in there to keep uh, electricity from back feeding into the system, possibly shorting, shortening the life of my control module or this relay box and uh, dissipates any surge of power when you disconnect something. So anyway, real happy with that. That's gonna work well. I have this cable, which is a Cat 7 Direct Berry Underground cable, and it's 18 gauge. And uh, all I need out of this is just six wires. And uh, this odd man out right here, what I'm gonna do is just curl it up and save it. So in case one of these wires gets damaged and I can't use it, I have a spare right here. This will wire into the eco-worthy control module. My cord is the power cord for the whole system. Uh, no longer do I have to have a separate cord for the eco-worthy. All power goes through this box to supply everything. I'm gonna have a 20 amp fuse. Uh, to supply it and that should be plenty uh, to uh, do all the actuators and, and everything. All right, so I'm starting on uh, installing the, the new relay control system. I've disconnected all the power, got my box mounted right below the control unit and uh, I backed off all these uh, nut compression fittings and I'm gonna disconnect all of these on this little bus bar. And then I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna install my new harness. 
Okay, so I got my wire run up through there and I have it split back and I'm ready to hook up to my uh, bus bar here. All right, I have all the uh, wires connected here on the bus bar from the harness. And now I'm gonna move down here to install the uh, actuator wiring. All right, I have my actuator wires coming up through the bottom and I've got that jammed down. I've got my the top two relays here. That is north-south. And then the next two is east-west. I have my east-west power cord connected to these bottom two. And so anyway, I am done inside this box. Okay, well, I got my uh, positive and negative cables made up and connected to the battery. All I got to do now is just put my fuse in and then I'll reset the perimeters uh, for my tracker. Okay, we've got them all hooked up with our new relay control boxes and uh, we're gonna uh, just see how well they perform. I've got them all dated and so I can verify how long they've been running. This is Rusty Glove Box. Thanks for watching and I'm out of here. Doodly doodly doo.